Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to the Thaumaturge. In the last video, we investigated uh, many things in Shrubbishra. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> and we came here because something's been going on with the tomb. Our, our parents' tomb, our, our family tomb has been ransacked. And bodies, hello, <laughs> are turning up all over the place. These were the hooligans who were ransacking the tomb, so I dealt with those. And as you can see, someone has murdered... A fat donkey, <laughs> and that's why that's there. So we're gonna have a little poke around and see what we can do. Which is currently nothing, so, oh, hello. Do I have to, wait, why can't I click on anything? Do I have to wait for nighttime? Okay, I'm gonna wait till nighttime. Wait, no, I can't, I can't, okay, the game's broken. <laughs> Actually, that's what's going on, the game's broken. Let me load back in. I just can't click on anything for some reason. Are we good? Yeah, there we go. Discarded crowbar. A crude tool, less crude as the man who used it. The steel reverberates with a desire to destroy what is strange, corrupted by magic and unfamiliar, just like they were instructed by the Waz. <laughs> Rising on the tomb. A page, demons. Waz. <laughs> What's the Waz? My father a demon? Fine, let them have it their way. A page... A pa a pa a page a page. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Doesn't have legs. So, mean. Let's wait until. I was hoping we'd have a different conversation. So let's kill some time. Oh, we also got a haircut. Very exactly. Okay. Investigate the case of the corpses coming back to life. Let's have a little lucky loo and see what we can lucky do. Something over here. Somewhere. Oh, here we go. There's something odd nearby. On the deadly cool tombstone, the gravedigger has left words of prayer and a concern string on the marble. The concern that the dead won't rest in peace west. <laughs> rest in peace in accord with the laws of nature. It's a harbinger of the apocalypse. The I third one this something. week. Where is it? Another trace I didn't find. The flame is still smouldering. Top of the candle. The smell of kerosene from the still smouldering wick gives way to the profound sense of injustice settled on the candle. In the wisp of bluish smoke from the flickering I felt flame. Something. Where is I can feel a grievance over the fact that they pay more to dig up a stiff than to bury them. Trace familiar grave robber. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Well, give me a, I mean, calm down. I'll find it. I'm just reading, lad. <laughs> hey, Malouche. Look what they got dragged in. God damn. Are you the ones disturbing the dead and strewing the bodies all over the graveyard? No. Not dead. We are professionals. We've got the troublemaker here. I bet he'll call the Undertaker. That's too bad. Are you from the anti thaumaturge Society? We don't care if they're magicians or not. Ah, uh, Stiff is a Stiff. That's what the Waz is. Wizards are stupid. <laughs> the gravedigger will be surprised to see all this looting. Fuck, I knew Thursday would be no good. Don't be a sissy. It'll be all over soon. I'll take the coat. I'll take the cloth hoppers. I mean, would the gravedigger notice? Security at this graveyard is like, it, just embarrassing. <laughs> right, let's rock. Uh, so I can't break through that. That's bad. Uh, resist damage by 50. Oh, God, God, this is going to be rough. Okay, that's the only one I can break. That one, he's resistant to status effects, which is obviously really annoying. He's going to reduce damage. I feel like... Because it's not possible for me to get word or anything else like that at a higher level, I think we might go back and focus on the storyline until we get, like four uh, thingies at the very least for um, Salutors because I feel like we keep hitting walls where I'm being limited because of something I literally can't have access to, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm going to howl on you 
And I've got an old wound on you. It's not going to take much damage, but it is what it is. I don't really want to agony already, because uh, I don't need to heal. So, I'm, since they're going to take down to agony, I guess we just beat this guy up as best we can. And I'm going to keep... Mm, this is pretty hard. Bloody wedding. And we interrupted his attack. Fantastic. Good stuff. <laughs> Just a little jolt to the face. Ow. I'm going to take a bit of damage here. Uh, he's on one, so he's dead. Okay, and let's do something over here. I feel like I've... I don't, I don't want to say it, because every time I say something like this, things go terribly badly very, very soon afterwards. But I do feel like I've maybe started to get the grips with the combat a little bit. Suffering seems like a good way. I don't know, does it? I mean, let's see how much damage he takes here. I think he's got three or four layers of suffering on him right now. God, that feels brutal. Yeah, it still did 12 damage. I don't know. It feels like it maybe goes through damage resist. I don't think it. I don't think that's correct. It doesn't sound correct, but um, it still seems to hit pretty hard. You know, he took 12 damage there, and suffering does three to four damage. I felt something. Where is it? So, surely that means it does go through damage resist. Lying woefully, someone here fails to take care of their tools. The worn out shaft radiates with fresh alarm and fear, just like mine. Someone hastily dropped the tool as soon as they heard approaching footsteps. Did I startle that someone? <clears throat> I'm a little sad that there aren't any zombies. <laughs> this is no miracle nor imminent apocalypse. The resurrected corpses are assisted by a prankster who not only knows this place well, but also works here. The question is, why does he do it? The gravedigger should know him. They're alive. My only concern with doing the main quest, of course, is that um, we're going to miss out on some quests because they're time blocked or whatever. Sweet. Jesus, don't <laughs> scare me. I'm just here to see if the dead are lying down as they should. You gave those lads by the tomb a good belting, huh? I could hear the echoes. Thank you, but they weren't too keen to talk, and I have a few questions to ask. Maybe I could help, you know? That's what I was thinking. It's a rather grim job you've got here. Well, you know... I'd rather do this than struggle with drunkards in a bar or bolts in a factory. The dead are calm and predictable, you know? Well. Unless they start rising from the grave, that is. <laughs> That's literally what I was about to say. What is the WAS? Those fellas at the mausoleum were connected with it. Ah, the Warsaw anti taumaturge Society. Loonies, you know? Ever since your father was laid to rest here, they've been yelling their heads off by the walls. Where can I find their bosses? You know? Why? Do you smell blood? There's one behind the cemetery wall inciting the crowd. Ask him. Once you have cleaned up near the mausoleum, I can open the gate. I figured the W and the S out, but I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what the A was. The Grave Divicus says the WAS stands for the Warsaw anti thaumaturge Society. It doesn't, it means wizards are stupid. That agitator can be found by the cemetery wall. The WAS has targeted my father. Normally I would say, be my guest, be my guest. Wait, no. See my fest, see my fest, made from real gorilla chest. There you go. I'll endangered albino rhino, see my... That's not it. Endangered African rhino. What's the song? Yeah, I've got my share. 
Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to do the song. Uh, but they're acting so nastily, I put them on my blacklist. In order to learn more about them, I should find the agitated by the Pavlovsky Cemetery Wall. I searched the area. Grave robbers are more of a separate issue. But I learned something about the rising corpses. I'm dying of curiosity. Do you understand? <laughs> it seems that the corpses are helped in the wanderings by someone who knows the cemetery well and keeps their tools here. Hold on. My hands are clean. And is frustrated by how little you pay him. Eh. He's my assistant. Are you saying he's involved in this? Yes. Where can I find him? And he probably drinks with those friends of his own in Green Square. That louse. If you meet him, tell him he's fired. I've just realized why my character freaks me out a little bit. It's because he's got blue eyes. He looks like he should have brown eyes. Goodbye. Good luck with the WAS, you know? Let me know when you get rid of him. I'm like Reverse Hitler. I wonder if that's going to be a thing, that he's got blue eyes. I wonder if it's relevant. Somehow. Because it is unusual. He's got such dark hair. And dark beard, etc. And yet, blue eyes. Unusual. Right. Waz. Wizards are stupid. I'll show you he's stupid. <laughs> I'm sure that I, th I think I think that says something. It's Thaumatage, yeah. It's something about the Thaumatage. It's probably the, the W. It's probably the Waz alternate name. But it just looks like someone's tried to do the alphabet and they've messed up. Ah, oh, Polish. Have you been feeling tired lately? Yes. Have your wives been hysterical? Your chickens getting sick? Milk going sour for no reason. Yes! That's all caused by tempermancy. Curses, black magic, evil energy. It's funny because... This seems, oh, this is outdated, blah, blah. People still fall for this kind of stuff all the time. That's enough. This nonsense is making my ears bleed. Are you the one giving orders to the WAS? Look who's here. A magician tempermancer. The enemy of humankind. The ruiner of good fun and the vanquisher of children's smiles. I'll ask again, who is in charge of this circus? The president told us what you are. If you want to ask him about something in person, have a look at the brochure like the others. You know how to read, right? The loudmouth is being a loudmouth. Either he says what they tell him to or he truly believes it. He's not the one leading the wires, though. I need to get to the bottom of it. If the cemetery is sacred to you, why don't you explain desecrating other people's tombs? This is all your fault. The black energy has polluted this earth. The dead are outraged by it. We need to ward off the evil powers. All right, Harry. I'm getting fed up with you. This is the last moment for you to walk away unharmed. Demon, devil, let's get him sorted. I can feel my milk going sour at home. <laughs> Come on, brothers. Let's put him in his place. Afterwards, pop into our headquarters for some coffee and pastries. After giving him a good pounding. Oh, he's not even joining in. Cheeky little blighter. All right, let's have a look here. Uh, attack with Upia. Attack with Bukovac. And can't do anything about it. But reduces impact on focus, so I don't care about that. So, we are going to attack with Upia to start. And we'll just do bloody penance, because that's a good start. And I'm going to throw a agony on this guy. An old wound, I should say. It reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh somehow. Less so when I get shot in the stomach, but <laughs> it's something about the way that we're kind of like doing these moves from a distance, you know. I don't, I don't know what it is. It, it just reminds me of you, yo. Um, I'm gonna do agony. It's a bit early for it, but it will 
put suffering on him and on hopefully on the guy on the left. We'll see. Oh no, hopefully the guy on the right actually. Oh no, hopefully the guy. Hopefully the guy on the left. Yes. It should hit two of them. Stop shooting me in the stomach. Okay, the kicking me in the stomach hurt me more than kicking hurts much more than shooting. Yeah, see, this guy's got two on him now. Okay, and um, we're going to go back over to Bukovac. I'm going to howl. Are we going to howl? I'm going to howl. And I am going to old wound. And I'll heal after this. I'm going to take a lot of damage. But it is what it is. Okay, and now we can we can uh, heal up with agony. Twelve of your health points for every enemy. Is that going to heal me for thirty-six? Because all of them are suffering. And if we cast, is anyone at less than half? Is that full heal? 12. No, right. What? No, I thought it was only going to heal. It's four per person. I was confused. Uh, the guy in the middle is about to die. You've got the least health. I reckon that might do it. The dude in the middle just got red weddings. Delay or interrupt the actions of 50 enemies. It didn't really do much. I mean, he kicked me in the stomach a minute later anyway. We're getting there, folks. We're getting better. Getting better. What's the deal with Kramer? Keep Thaumaturgy away from holy sites. Was. Thoughts of the person who created the banner are roving around the fabric like lost sheep. The first one is pacing around impatiently, the second one in fear. The third is making fun of the rep represented ideas, the fourth is wandering in doubt. Was the deal with Leaflet. <clears throat> the, the was. Has been on an important mission to combat thaumaturgy in all its manifestations in the public sphere for three years now. We see the activities and existence of temporal monsters as a huge threat to civilizations and citizens as a whole. Got that wrong way around, but roll with me here. Let us join together to forbid the growth of the festering ulcer on the fabric of history, which is the reign of thaumaturgists over humankind, which they have been pursuing for centuries. Support our activities with a donation. We accept checks, cash, and in-kind donations. Please address donations to the WAS. 10 Milnatskat Street, Warsaw, Poland. We also invite you to join the ranks of our society. Recruitment is always open. The loudmouth from the leaflet will lead me to my goal. I should visit the WAS, check out their recruitment is coming along, maybe sort them out one way or another. Okay. So, I think... Oh, I don't know. So what I want to do, really, is go and focus on the main missions. But I'm really scared about this. That, like, something's going to go wrong if I ignore... Look at all these missions I've got. <laughs> what, what, like, they're all timed. Why are they all timed? Maybe it's not a big deal. Maybe it's like I leave the town at some point. Maybe I'll know, you know, before I'm going to lose access. But it does make me apprehensive. I'm so prone to apprehension. <laughs> hmm. Got a lot of skill points. It's interesting, I don't feel... Like, combat, I was, I was kind of getting my ass kicked the last couple episodes. Well, until the last episode, and now I feel like I've maybe turned a corner on it a little bit. Let's go to the tailor. I'm the tailor. I'm the tailor. What's that from? It's from something. Everything's from something. And you're a jet. You're a jet all the way. Gotta keep doing it. Won't find the things otherwise. What's going on up here? This lumbago is killing me. Well, you should sit down then, buddy. I mean, you're a waiter, so you got things to do, but that's never here nor there. 
Why is there nothing in this godforsaken town? <laughs> uh, where's the map? I've walked past all of the things. There's one down here, though. I've built up my collection of skill points. Ready. Also, these tend to lead to missions. That's cool. Yep, there's another one. I mean, it says it's a quest, right? Vienna Station, for example. I think it's just find the viewpoint. Find where the photo was taken. I don't think it's like a quest quest, you know? Go to the tailor to collect the... Okay, is there a tailor here? Hello? Screwed that basting stitch. There was staggering anger radiating from the patterns. Desperate hands tried to sketch something valid, interesting and original to no avail. All that's left is chaos and impatience. Taylor's mannequin. There are individual threads of focus left on the mannequin being ripped apart by customers' visits. All the ideas that aren't good enough are rejected. Nothing but more alterations. It's like goddamn uh, Phantom Thread up in here. <laughs> Dirty coffee cups. In the dregs, I can still feel the stress that urges the tailor to make more coffee and drink it hastily. Coffee is better than sleep. To sleep is to waste precious time that could be used for more alterations. The note was written by the tailor's impatient customer, urging him to promptly complete the order. Otherwise, they threatened to revoke their advance and ruin the tailor's reputation. God, I hate customers. The tailor has a steady hand for sewing, but his head reverberates with the lack of ideas. He needs inspiration, as frustration and impatience won't breed any good ideas. The way things are going, he won't finish the job or find creative peace. I'll help you, buddy. Probably, somehow. Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Oh. Sorry, what? You tell me. <laughs> what is it? I mean, what do you think I'm here for, buddy? I couldn't help noticing you're struggling for inspiration. You've got a keen eye. The book makes it easier. I have to guess what everyone has in their mind. Is there any way I can help? I want to know what people look for in fashion these days. Back in the day, all you needed was two padlocks and a space for your Johnson. I don't know what else there is to it. If you tell me that, I'll be grateful. I'll sue you anything you want in return. Let me sharpen my senses. I need some evening wear, quick. Good proportions. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulsky, 9 Green Square. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. Now, I'd like to go to my business. I won't bother you. This is a very All fancy. Right. Okay. The Tailor's Dilemmas. So can I, can I do anything here? No, nope, we don't have anything. But I'm assuming maybe we'll be able to get stuff from him at some point. Or, well, we'll get something now at least. Um, oh god. I think we can do these ones. Oh, yeah, calm down, little red thing. <laughs> it's going wild. Alright, I'm going to try to do some of them. <clears throat> I don't bloody know. I just think it's a little unsatisfying to do... I'm just going to do the photo things. I think it's unsatisfying to like do a mission. I kind of regret this already. <laughs> I think it's kind of unsatisfying to do a mission and then have to stop. You know what I mean? Like halfway through because you can't finish it. That annoys me. Oh, can I not even... Oh, this is locked. Why is this locked? Uh, oh, there's blood. What is going on here? I have no idea. All right, I'm going to ignore this for now. I'm going to assume that all these missions aren't about to suddenly disappear and that we can, uh, we can carry on. If they all vanish, I tell you what, I'm going to, I'm going to make a save and we're going to save before every major quest, just in case. And if we happen to find that point of no return, then we'll, um, we can load up a save. How's that for a plan? By golly, Vagrant, that's a great plan. That was quick. That's what you sound like, by the way. Well, I don't know. I don't know. 
I see you went to a barber. That's something at least. Recently I met a bearded guy who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. Mm, maybe he's a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tailcoat. Very funny. Are you getting dressed so we can go, or have you changed your plans? Let's go. Yes, let's go and see if I do fit in. In that case, I'll go get changed too. I think he looks good. Very Look fancy. at you. And here I worried I was the only one who looked good in trousers. Very chic choice. I'm, I can't say that. I know I want to feed pride, but I mean... I'm not going to click it every single time. Thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you. You think Papa would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Victor. He could have kept from losing the Black Grimoire. Are we ready? Yes, the carriage is waiting. <laughs> my sister gave me a compliment on a shirt I was wearing in my holiday last year, and it was a very weird experience for me. It's not the kind of family we have. It's a nice shirt, I'll admit. Welcome to the Imperial Hotel. How may I help you? Ligia Szulska, here on the invitation of Svetlana Romianceva. Yes, we are expecting you, of course. The uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, second floor. I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. I'm impressed. How did you sort that out? Our name still means something. Let's do our best to keep it that way, all right? I'm going to predict that Svetlana is attractive. I will explain shortly. Whoa, hello. Who are you, my golden slithering friend? Victor? Victor. Victor! Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, of, of course. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? We're walking into the Viper's Den, brother. Everything's all right. I just got a little lost in thought. I'll be good, I promise. I'm going to hang around here a little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Huh. See you there. Okay, I don't really have an explanation beyond I just think that Svetlana is the kind of person who... Like, it's just an attractive person name, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I heard a long hiss and a rustle of scales. This can only mean one thing. Do scales rustle? There is a saluto somewhere in the Imperial Hotel, and someone with a flaw. Let's get poking around. Something over here. <clears throat> a poster advertising the mysterious Madame Samira. Oh, she's a tarot reader, right? The poster's surface radiates with the positive emotions of passersbys who've passers by who've laid eyes on the advertisement, such as curiosity about the mysterious psychic or excitement revealed by a quick heart rate. Apparently, Madame's seances are quite popular. Cold reading, hooliganism, tricksters is all that is. Tanya. A procession of slender legs, a review of colourful feathers and sweet voices. Unlike vaudeville dancers, these beauties make their lovers part with their fortunes unwittingly. Burb. It's a peacock feather. In the golden cage is an exotic bird watching me with its beady little black eyes. On the golden cage is the whisper of a woman who contemplated opening it. She was close to releasing the birds for a lark to watch the chaos. Yet something stopped her, and the birds are still in the cage. Okay, so there's two people to talk to. Sophia. What's another attractive way? Svetlana's always attractive. In this kind of upper-class posh Russian sort of way. 
Um, Sophia, I think, in general. Connor, obviously. <laughs> well, well, someone new. Good evening. Good evening, Viktor Shulski. Irina Orova of those Orlovs. Oh god, I hate you already. This is Natalia Obolenskaya, and this strangely quiet soul is our delightful Sofia Skawan. Irina is exaggerating. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Shulski. The Governor General's daughter herself. How do you do? What can you tell us? About what? Sofia Jonovskaya is this year's debutante and enjoys a lot of interest. She's a young socialite who relishes the attention she elicits. Can I just say, as an aside, socialites and anyone who gives a damn about socialites is the most vapid, empty nonsense on the entire bloody planet. Sorry, <laughs> just this. How are you enjoying yourselves? We can't complain. Seeing as we're debutantes, we're getting a lot of attention. Really? Maybe you'll tell us something about yourself. <laughs> Every now and again, the dialogue just doesn't fit. You know, it just what, what, what is she going really to there? Like, what's her re I, I, her reaction makes no sense in that context. I suspect you want to hear more about the book. We've never met a thaumaturgist before. To tell the truth, I didn't believe they existed. A thaumaturge. Don't worry. But now, you do. Well, it depends on what kind of trick you show us, Mr. Shulsky. Well, here we go. I've heard a certain secret. Do you want to hear it? Come now, we won't tell anyone. Or maybe I shouldn't. Do you like being a tease? A little bit. Forgive me, ladies, for teasing you like this. Here's the secret. Come on, we're dying to know. Someone was recently playing with a lock on one of the gilded cages, wondering what would happen if all the birds escaped captivity. And I know for certain it was one of you. Sophia, that sounds like you. Admit it. And now what will happen to us, Mr. Shulsky? Women are very flirty. A trade for another secret. I'm just ramping up that pride. We're not going to do it with our sister, because I think it's important that she likes us. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, why not? Have some fun with it. In exchange for my discretion, I need another secret of yours. That's the only way to keep everyone in check. What should I choose? Our fathers don't know we're here. There you are. How naughty. <laughs> None of your fathers know? Okay, Vector. None, especially not Sophia's. Otherwise, he wouldn't have let her come. I'm very satisfied with this trade. And what now? It's getting awkward. How are you enjoying yourselves? We can't complain. And what? I don't know. I need to slip away for a moment. We should go as well. We've really forgotten ourselves around you. That's nice to hear, but I understand. The soiree won't wait. I hear Rumyantseva has invited a real medium. Will there be ghosts? That I'd like to see. <clears throat> I mean, Victor's... Sophia's companions told me a secret that Sophia sneaked out to a soiree with them unbeknownst to her father. Consider it an exciting experience. No design gets quite an adrenaline rush for them. Like, he's a good-looking guy. <laughs> and everything. Rocks the beard. Decent hair now. Good voice. Clearly, you know, and his job as a thaumaturge is enticing, but every single woman in the entire place is like, hello, sailor. All what over What we him. come here for? These soirees are for old people. Good evening. May I? Please, we're not discussing anything consequential. <laughs> you keep on worrying about yourselves. I intend to make the most of this evening. See, I told you he was in love. Miss Skawan is out of your league, my friend. To say nothing of her father. Old Skawan and I are practically on first name terms now. You'll see. Those are wild eyebrows. I'm sure. So, one eye-catching girl has already got an admirer. What does that leave us, Maxime? Hmm, not much. 
the dull, the silly, or, well, the old. En parlant de Ligia Shuska, <laughs> she just passed this way. Pigs will fly before someone fancies her. She'd actually prefer Sophia Scowon, according to what I've heard. Well, what do you think? Oh boy, <laughs> Sergei wants to impress his companions. He hopes they'll see him as worthy candidate for Governor General Scalone's daughter. Sergei has plans regarding Sofia, but they're yet to be realized. Interesting that the spelling of realized is American rather than European. My name is Viktor Shulsky. Well, there we have it. <laughs> I'm afraid we've got a few things to explain to one another. Preferably through violence. I don't think so, Mr. Shulsky. Where are you from? You're among polite society, not cattle. I'm not the only one itching for a brawl, am I? What? Is one guy more than you can handle? Let's take this out to the forecourt, gentlemen. Sergei, my friend, anything for you. Don't chat shit about my sister. Whoa. Right, the guy with the big sword is going to die first. <laughs> I think that's the top tip for life. Uh, Upia. Four health every round, that's not a big deal. And it can be disabled by Bukovac. Alright, I'm going to get Upia to break this. No, this is me. Uh, right, well, let's start getting the agonies going. The old wounds and such. They're both the same. Penance will hit harder. I probably won't need the heal. Oh, I'll need a little heal by then. I'm not going to worry too much about that. So who brings a gigantic saber to a soiree? <laughs> Seriously, who brings a saber to a soiree? There we go. That both hit him. Oh. Did indeed. So it hits a random target, but it can hit the same target twice. Interestingly enough. Uh, right, we need to swap. And is it you who needs to be broken? Yes. So I'm going to get you to how? Well, if I get you to Bloody Wedding. And then I go in and I old wound on this guy. Bloody Wedding will hit for 50% more. Although I'm going to take triple damage in the meantime. It'd be nice if the Bukovac could be a bit of a tank for me, you know what I mean? Like, I'm here getting whomped. I always take all the damage. Need to heal. Don't kill the guy. I need him to live so I can heal more. <laughs> There we go, and now they're all nearly dead. Bam! Lovely jubbly. I now have six skill points. Sitting. Doing nothing. <laughs> oh, man. What is this? Oh, it's the um, the viewpoint. The hotel. Imperial. Nice. God, I nearly leveled up again, man. <laughs> uh, right. That would suggest to me, at the very least, that like, we're able to maybe... Um, get uh, the mind one here. Maybe it's that one we're looking for here, right? Yeah, maybe. No, it's, if, I, if I had to guess, I'd say it's word based on what I'm seeing. I don't know. Hello again. Okay. Weird. What for a pearl handle? Likely used predominantly to conceal its own as cheeky grin. I feel like at this point, maybe I should level up <laughs> a little bit, you know? Well, actually, we can think about it. 
Well, what I wanted to make sure is that I've got enough points, right, to catch up entirely. So I need... I need, like, eight, I think. All right? To get all of those. They're two. Did that cost two or one, that one? I'm going to say it was two. So we need eight skill points in reserve for mind and word both to get up to here. I know in a lot of ways this is stupid. I am aware of that. <laughs> but... <laughs> Cast suffering. Uh, how's that skill upgrade? Oh, it casts double suffering. Oh, so, oh um, I'm gonna grab this, and then I'm not gonna spend any more. Um, because I think debilitating wound. Yeah, so that will cast suffering on. So what's that one? No, I need to keep regeneration. I think it makes a lot of sense for that to be on there. So it would be. Yeah, I could do that. So that may action reaction cast suffering. I think that's probably better, actually. I don't really use concussion very much. So we can ignore that. Okay. Onwards! Oh, what's going on here? Why can I click everything again? It's very confusing. Anyways, let's head upstairs. I hear, like, this really weird... Soft whistling noise. Like like a breathy, nasally whistle. It's very odd. Oh, it's Mr. Bird Face Man. Ivan. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. You don't know how very flattering that is. <laughs> and what brings you to the Imperial? The cream of Warsaw society is here, so I thought it would be worth showing my face. With a name like yours, I'm sure you fit right in. After all, someone must have invited you. I really have a deep hatred for this whole names thing, like your name matters. And it just shouldn't. Your name shouldn't carry any weight whatsoever. Surely you want to be evaluated purely on your accomplishments as an individual. Like, what your family achieves doesn't mean a goddamn thing. In my opinion, anyway. I'm not worthy. My sister brought me along out of pity, I think. And so, Miss Ligia is here too. Why do you ask? Weird reaction. No reason. What are you hoping for this evening? Who knows? Maybe I'm keeping an eye out for the future Mrs. Shulska. <laughs> Best of luck. You'll need it, since Ligia ended up with the entire inheritance. My sister didn't inherit everything. That's right, in fact. After all, Stanislav had his little black magic book. But I don't see you carrying it. Ooh, what's going on here, Ivan? Who are you? <laughs> what's occurring? Two is more than I can carry. I left it at home. Understandable. And what are you doing here, Mr. Konechkin? I'm passing the time. Ah, curious hobby. I'm simply interested in people. A doctor, thaumaturge, or policeman could say the same. Your interest flatters me. Who knows? Maybe the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree, and someday we'll even be friends. Dower. How well did you know my tree? We enjoyed talking and lending one another a hand. If I may, there's one question niggling at me. How did you get so many scars? Why do you ask? I've heard that Russian officers in training have drunken duels with sabers after hours. No. A very peculiar custom, if that's true. So where did those scars come from? I've led an interesting life. It's clearly a burn, isn't it? It looks like a burn. Who did you say you were to my father? A trusted acquaintance. I supported him with good advice. Though truth be told, he rarely needed it. Your father had a gift for making good decisions. 
Which of my father's decisions would those be? Once that were good for your family, perhaps we'll have the chance to return to this another time. Goodbye, Mr. Shulsky. Yes, I'm sure. I'm terrible at that kind of conversation in real life, you know, where people are like being coy and trying to sort of... It's, it's, you're sort of mentally sparring with someone, but you're sort of concealing information. As soon as I think someone's playing a game with me, my interest in playing th that game just <laughs> goes to absolutely... It's why I'm not good in relationships. My interest just goes to absolute zero. It really does. Like, just tell me what we're talking about. Tell me what you're trying to say. Or I'm not going to engage with you at all. It's generally speaking how I treat things. There's really nothing in here. I know where your fan is. It's downstairs. Did I not bring it with me? Discreet half words, meaningful half smiles, and sidelong glances from behind a fan. Merely appearances. The truth is that I found myself in a den of snakes. People must tread carefully here. Cool. What does a snake represent? Greed? I would say so. Well, in the Adam and Eve story, at the very least. Hey, Svetlana. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Seance table, covered by a red cloth with images of constellations. The fabric of the tablecloth is permeated with weariness and nervousness. The emotions are fresh and clear. They've just travelled from Samira's fingertips as she held her palms there to avoid her biting her nails from stress. Was it me who had that effect on her? Row of candles. An image emerges from the flames, a hand dancing over the fire, a gaze that follows it, and lips uttering words of anxious excitement. A promise of capturing the certainty of success. You will be mine. Me, 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 me. Who is this about? Maybe that's enough. What do you want? Oh! The trick with entering someone's head. I know one person who can do that. You're not much of a thaumaturge if you can't. Have you come here to torment me? Unmask me? I don't see any fun in unmasking you. So what do you want? I wanted to get rid of that goddamn text. Madame Samira is not only a mysterious psychic, but also a thaumaturge. Aware of the wild saluter's presence, she wants to capture him for herself. Not happy to have another thaumaturge around. Clearly determined to get this salutor, which is why she's trying so hard to dissuade me from the hunt. Your serum is quite impressive. Mm, flattery will get you nowhere. Madame, you're being impolite. What about a little competition? We'll see who wins. I'll pass. All right, well, I'll just take it for myself then. <laughs> Samira Saluto looks impressive, to say the least. It's Sirin. It matches her mysterious aura. Is it not slightly suspicious that, like, all the demons happen to live in Poland, <laughs> by the way? <laughs> Madame Samira. Behind the mysterious guise of Madame Samira is a thaumaturge accompanied by Sirin, as intriguing as herself. The role of a psychic allows Samira to freely frequent social gatherings that also lure the Saluto she's chasing. I think your idea of pretending to be a medium is fantastic. It sounds like I impress you. How many people know? Is that a threat? I'm into her, but I don't like her hat. It's a, it's a problem for me. I noticed a wild salutor here. I understand your being here has something to do with him in particular. Keep your nose out of this. Mm, why? <laughs> because I'm warning you. What do you know about this salutor? Do you know its name? Don't you? A name doesn't tell us much anyway. All that matters is picking out the person in this crowd with the flaw. I know perfectly well who carries the flaw. Another reason for you to stay out of it. The person with the flaw attended the seance, right? <sighs> so I'm on the right track. Have you finished? That's not such a ladylike tone, madame. Maybe we should just let the best one catch that saditor. <laughs> you mean yourself? Well, I mean... It can either, like... It's a competition or... I'm gonna just... I mean, it is a competition. You don't get a say in it. <laughs> unless you kill me. 
So, should we finish up? That would be best. And listen to me carefully, Mr. Whatever your name is. Shulski. But you can call me Victor. Now, Mr. Shulski, you will vanish like a bad dream, and I will get back to work. I'm gonna take your Salutor. Just so you're aware. Champagne glasses. The lips that sipped champagne a moment ago kept uttering cutting words of contempt. Someone clearly regrets marrying the alleged idiot Luiza, but I doubt she's the idiot in a relationship. Shulsky. Here you are. Denoman, meet my brother. Viktor Shulsky. The last Shulsky to wear trousers. You don't know that. Miss Ligia could yet produce an heir to the fortune. Maybe even with me, if she doesn't tell my wife. But let's talk like men. You intend to take over your father's company, correct? <laughs> Just gonna throw in that in your wife? Yeah, sure, why not? First, I suggest you mind your own business. Your marriage, for instance. Perhaps Louisa isn't the ninny you take her for. I beg your pardon. You had me. Hasn't it occurred to you that when you leave her at home, she might also take advantage of her solitude? What are you suggesting? You've got a cockle's horns. Was I being too subtle? I suppose it's true what they say about you. Yes, what's that? You've lost your mind. <laughs> It's true. I'm completely nuts. I can't tell what's true and what's a bluff, apart from Puchalski's horns. A dangerous oaf! Good luck with your business, miss. She's not gonna like that, is she? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I can forget about anyone wanting to say a word to me. Ah, oh, Ligia, yeah, I'm sorry. You've got me. Listen, as far as those two are concerned, I just didn't like how they were treating you. I'm used to it, Victor. Their words don't bother me. I can cope. Any progress with Svetlana? <clears throat> I've taken a long, deep look at Samira. She's no medium. Samira is a thaumaturge on the hunt. On the hunt? Madame has spotted a salutor that's attached to one of the guests. What kind of salutor? Remember those fairy tales Mother used to read us? Uh, and the legend of the golden snake? Yes, Velas. Yes, I'm glad you're here. Are you also hunting for him? I admit I like to have him. I haven't made up my mind. Be careful. I am. That's why I haven't made up my mind. The Slavic Lord of the Underworld, the God of Wealth, a schemer. Soiree gives him the perfect conditions for feeding, goading, and plotting. Sofia Skawan, the Governor General's daughter. Do you know her? No, and I don't suggest you make her acquaintance either. Skawan can't stand thaumaturges. Hmm. I'm not surprised. Another person who sees an obscure threat in us. Guess who I ran into again? All mysterious and carved up. Ivan Konietkin? What do you know about him? Mm, not much. He was an acquaintance of Papa's. Well, in theory, it's thanks to him that we're here. What? Ligia? I know that nothing comes for free, but he really didn't want anything. Yeah, he looks like a real altruist. I can still hear that whistling, it's really annoying me. I wonder if he's got us here because he wants us here, because now he knows that the shop, the house, the built, whatever, the house is unoccupied and can be robbed, potentially, for the grimoire. You enjoying yourself in this viper's den? Oh, the vodka is quite tolerable. I'm observing my own brother taking out his anger on ordinary mortals. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? 
Because I heard a certain conflict took place in the forecourt. Hey, they started it. I was just defending your honor. Uh, again? Sorry. I'm going. I'm very embarrassing. <laughs> I really have an exceptionally embarrassing brother to have around. And the general says to him, tell us something funny. Then Bautsky replies, General, why don't you shoot a cannon first? That's a good one. I'll have to tell it tomorrow at the Orwafs. Who might this be joining our conversation? You know, sir, your face looks familiar to me. My name is Viktor Shulsky. Ah, oh, yes, I can see something in your eyes. I was sorry to hear about your father. I'll see you next time, darling. Wonderful party. Terrible hat. Terrible. See you there. I think I've offended the creme de la creme of Warsaw. This is hardly the creme de la creme. How do you find my soiree? Lacking in creme. I admit I'm getting reacquainted with the social scene. You spent a long time traveling, didn't you? Fifteen years. Over that time, I got used to harsher surroundings. Believe me, drawing rooms can be just as dangerous as untamed steps. You've met Anastasia and Marina. What about the others? The only people who say things like that <laughs> are people who've never been to the steps. How is it being part of the Tsar's court? It is a blessing and a curse. Forgive me if I do not elaborate. I've already met several distinguished guests. Madame Samira definitely stands out. She is exceptional, isn't she? Her presence is the crowning glory of the evening. Has anyone else caught your eye? Ivan Konechkin, for instance. Apparently, he knew my father. How remarkable. I wasn't aware. Konechkin is something of a secretive person. And have you yet had occasion to meet the debutants of this season? I'll be sure to seek them out. You already met them, this Victor. evening, Sofia Skowen herself is to grace us with her presence. Well, well. Victor. I suggest you move quickly. The competition is fierce. Victor, you already met her, you weirdo. The crux of the matter is that I'm here because of my father. You knew him. That doesn't sound like a question. Of course, I was his customer. I truly am sorry for you, both of you. The death of someone close is always a dreadful blow. Please accept my condolences. I mean, you know, I'm aware that... I'm sure it's been mentioned, but it's completely slipped my mind. I do not know what he sold. I, I cannot think of what the shop sells. Svetlana Petrovna, I must insist. Can you tell me something more about my father? Mr. Shulsky, I assure you we have the most delectable vodka. Besides that, I warmly encourage you to join Madame Samira's séance. It will be an unforgettable experience. Hmm, I wonder, is that truly everything our soiree can offer you? She's the one. I've got no choice but to suffer through tonight. No need to mince words. She's not the one. So Alana refuses to talk openly with me. Maybe she's anxious about all the gossip-hungry ears around us. I can feel she wants to tell me something. I should watch her surroundings closely. Maybe I can learn something that way. Wait, I don't know where she's gone. <laughs> I do not know where she has gone. There's something here, though. Here. I felt something. Where is it? Some suit and remnants of bird letter on the cast iron. Her usually steady hands were shaking as her eyes followed the written words. He was watching her, she already knew that. But how dare he threaten her? Agitated, she, she, she threw the note in the furnace. Too bad she couldn't get rid of the stalker that easily. The remains contain the author's concern about Svetlana's condition, expressed in a seemingly kind-hearted tone. The message ends with a veiled threat foreshadowing a desire to interfere. I wonder if that was our father. 
string of pearls. The affection and gratitude of one woman covered by the shame of another, though an honest gift from the Serena, so Lana feels guilty every Sarina. So Lana feels guilty every time she sees it. I'm assuming the Sarina is the Sars wife. Partner. Whatever. Travel chest. The chest is kept at the ready. Svetlana's personal items were put into the chest and then removed, all due to her growing anxiety and uncertainty. Should she pack and leave? Again, a restless hand closes the empty chest and decides to keep waiting. Melted candle. Solidified wax carries the memory of honest grief mixed with fear. However, those emotions were quickly concealed with well-practiced composure. This candle is the best farewell to the deceased that Svetlana could afford. Silk pillows. The fabric carries a memory of yearn for lightheartedness, passion, and a sense of security. Two people found solace in each other here. Two people, Svetlana and my father. It's the woman. I can't remember the initials. Was it S? Was it S something? Or R? I can't remember what it was. The silk remembers. It remembers the tentative planning, the recurrent doubts, the peaceful sense that everything was as it should be, and other chaotic thoughts caused by passionate intoxication. I'd rather not know. So I wonder who was watching her then. No wonder Svetlana was reluctant to talk if she's afraid of someone watching her closely, especially if that someone knows a lot about her and maybe even her pent-up desire to escape. Besides, she had an affair with my father. Maybe I can make her confide in me, then I'll ask her about what I came for. The Black Grimoire. Curiouser and curiouser. Well, we're gonna go talk to Haley Gear. Did I see that you've met this Madame person? Unfortunately, Svetlana doesn't want to breathe a word of it. I'm sure she doesn't trust you. In company like this, that speaks well of her. Why the cold shoulder, Ligia? I've never liked her. Her manner gets under my skin. I've heard she's a dreadful schemer. Hmm. Strange, Ligia usually refrains from gossiping, always been the first to condemn such behaviour. What she said about Svetlana may have been caused by the Salotor's influence on the environment. The Soiree and High Society. High Society breathes scandal and imbibes gossip from other people's lips, which sits very well with the Salotor prowling around. The floor must belong to someone keen on playing games and plotting, a schemer by nature. Did you know that Papa had an affair with the host of this party? Uh, are you sure? Absolutely. As sure as the Thaumaturge can be. I felt what he felt when, uh, well, you know. Oh, stop! That's disgusting! Quickly, change the subject. I'm not sure we wanna... I'm not sure we wanna... I'm going. I'm not sure that's something we wanna explore, really. Okay, I feel like it's, it's all... building up to me going to actually talk to... I'm sure we'll we'll find the person during the swat during the uh, the seance. I'm assuming. I saw something. Anyways, anyways, we will finish off the soiree and see what the happy haps are in the next video. So until then, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you, lovely folks. Then, cheers, much as always. Bye bye.